in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on fifty centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit you your home thank you for watching be blessed and I tell you the truth what it will work in the lives of people will surprise them I promised that I was going to take a few testimonies and I wasn't able to come as at the time but I understand that there are a few very striking testimonies please let me have the, the details just okay go ahead hallelujah um, this is Usman Augusta okay Jennifer, Jennifer John Oleku where is that? I hope they can hear outside. Please, if it's your name, ushers guide them very quickly so they can. Samaila Chindo. Grace Heman, you can put your hands together for them as they come. Gloria Jaja and um, Fatima Abubaka Besson. Okay, the following. Would you repeat it, please, one more time? Usman Augusta, Jennifer John, Oleku, Esther, Samaila Chindo, Grace Heman, Gloria Jaja, and Fatima Abubaka Besson. Are they here? Wherever you are, please very quickly make your way to the front. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. While we wait for them, I hope they are around. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples now. And he said, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. It says, And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost part of the earth. Very, very interesting. It says you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come. And he never said that power will make you a preacher. He never said that power will make you a prophet. He never said that power will make you an apostle. He said that power that you receive will make you a witness a witness listen very carefully i'm teaching now are we together now a witness is not a prophet a witness is not an apostle a witness is not even a man of god a witness is an individual who has been authorized to prove that jesus did not lie are we together when it talks of witness that's all right if, if they are not around or they are not within the vicinity. That's okay. We can continue with what we're doing. A witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement. Is a defender. Are we together now? It's a legal terminology like you go to the, the court of law and you are asked, do you have a witness? At the point where whatever action was taken, was there an individual who can attest for you? Now, remember, we were not there when Jesus died. But the Bible says there is something that the Holy Ghost can bring to our lives. Are we together now? And it says that anointing, that power can make us witnesses, validators. Validators of the claims of Jesus. Listen. Without a system for validating the claims of Jesus, there is no reason to be a Christian. Are we together now? Yes. It matters that the claims of Jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled. It matters that men know that this Jesus that we seek and this Jesus that we serve, listen carefully, is not just a mirage, it's not a doctrine. He's not just theology, that he's alive and lives forevermore. And there is the power that makes us validators. Are we together now? It says we shall receive the power. 
I hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure. Please make sure you are not. Are we together now? If we just have two of them, that's okay. They can just, it's just a token um, of the testimony so that I can fulfill whatever it is. Can we pause for a moment and, and, and then let's hear their testimony. Come, my dear. Just tell us quickly. I don't have your name here. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer John Oleku. For four to five years now, I have a lump in my right breast. But after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely the lump. How long? Yes. Four to five years. You checked this morning. Yes, sir. And it's gone completely. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. We do not take for granted, you know, you people are so used to miracles in this place. When something happens, you just laugh and um, never get familiar with the presence of God. It says that, um, how did he put it now? I, I'm trying to remember a scripture that the Bible put. Um, Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. Can we have it? Okay, I'll just turn there. I just wanted to encourage us with that scripture. One moment, my dear, and I'll pray for you. Philemon chapter 1. And verse 6, that the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what? Acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. So the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing God does. Lord, I had a headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now. The Bible says it can boost your faith. The communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing there was a lump on my breast and now i've checked and it's not there while i'm trusting god to give another miracle i do not ignore what he has done are we together now in the name of jesus may the lord perfect you never never returns again in jesus name come my dear let's give jesus praise for her go ahead your name and your testimony praise god my name is gloria father Yesterday, you prayed about those that can't hear with their right ear. After the prayer, I was able to hear. Couldn't hear with your right ear? You're sure? How long? I'm 28 now. Um, how old are you now? Do you mind? <laughs> Hallelujah. Interesting. And, and for that long, for 20 years, what happened? Stop asking me, me. And, and right now, you can hear with it. Which of them? It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus the same way the Lord opened your ears may every part of your destiny be opened in the name of Jesus Christ give Jesus praise thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord thank you thank you so much so we we're discussing Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 Now, while Jesus was on earth, please follow me carefully. While Jesus was on earth, the Bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life. He lived a life of power. He lived a life of intelligence. He lived a life of grace. He lived a life that was full of the spirit. And when you begin to read John 15, John 16, Jesus began to tell us, please listen, that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you. Notice now, Jesus is teaching. He will guide you into all truth. He will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you. The Bible said it's the Holy Spirit that convicts the world. Do you know one of the things that I've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own 
never, never change people. Are we together? The disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of Jesus. And even when he resurrected, the Bible says some doubted. They saw the sick healed. They saw the dead raised. They saw whatever would happen, happen. But they had the effrontery to doubt Jesus. The scribes and the Pharisees, they were represented at every crusade. Yet, with what they saw, they still doubted Jesus. Without the presence of the Holy Spirit, there is no genuine conviction. That's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles. Carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves. They are celebrators of the finger of God. But they are never benefactors of that grace. So Jesus began to teach us that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to believers. He has a ministry to unbelievers. And Jesus said that he will reprove the world, the fallen system of men, of sin, of righteousness, of judgment. And then to the believers, he will guide them in all truth. He will do this and that. The Bible began to tell us all the things that Jesus would do. Now, let me tell you this. One of the things that I have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of Christ and his ministry while he walked on earth. Are we together now? And so most people still wait on Jesus to do what he has left the Holy Spirit to do for us. You have to listen to what I'm teaching you now. Are we together now? Jesus said it is expedient, advantageous for you that I go. Why? So that the comforter, the helper, the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man, the helper will come. The helper will come. That means Jesus was saying, come. Jesus was saying, hitherto, I represent the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you. But shortly I'm going to go away, but I will not leave you comfortless. Is that true? Someone else will come to hold your hands and continue. Is the Greek word alos parakletos. The word alos means of the same kind. Heteros, where we get heterogeneous, means of another kind, another species. So another person is coming and he is no different from who I am in terms of ability, in terms of purpose, in terms of function. He says when he comes, he will continue my ministry. Everybody say continue my ministry. So the Holy Spirit today represents to the body of Christ what Jesus represented to the apostles. Are we together? Most people, Jesus help me. Jesus save me. I know that it looks emotional, but Jesus has no business helping you and saving you today. He has already done that. He's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for the saints. That's the limit of his ministry now. The personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice, his plan, is the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Yes. You pray to the Father, agreed. You pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he is somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turn their lives into signs. Turn their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman. People like William, um, 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 what's his name? Seymour. And all of these great ordinary people born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him. Look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen.
we have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity. When I talk of demonstration, I don't mean falling down and rolling. No, I'm talking about the life-producing power. It says, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men, Sophia, but on the power of God. We have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people. And we men of God keep proposing. Do you know what? how dangerous it is to keep whetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience? There is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness. The waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end. And you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known. He can be related with. It's just that we have not been taught. We've not been taught the usefulness of his person. The Holy Spirit today represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. He represents the power of God. He's the manifestation of the glory of God. The Holy Spirit is so powerful, he turned Jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman. What can he not turn? In Genesis chapter 1, when you read, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then when you read verse 2, the Bible says, now the earth was dark and formless and all of that, just like the lives of several people. Dark, void, formless, scattered, family scattered into pieces. And the Bible says, he's the creative force that began to hover around. And then God spoke, let there be. And there was. And he said it was good. Remember, the goodness of God cannot be seen outside of the Holy Spirit. The only reason why it became good was because of the Holy Spirit. I look at my life today and I imagine what a failure I would have become without him. It's not about oratory. No, it's his presence. We are all gathered today, scattered around and people following, connected from all over the world today from this location because of the Holy Spirit. When you believe him in your life, sister, he will turn you into a wonder. I'm telling you this. When you believe him in your life, this is not the issue of being a Christian. This is an issue of saying, Holy Spirit, you were sent by Jesus to be an extension of his ministry. Everywhere you see the name Jesus in the experience of the disciples, you can safely replace it with Holy Spirit. Aside from salvation, the work of salvation on the cross. When there was no wine, they ran to Jesus. So when there is no beauty and freshness in your life, you run, spirit of the living God. You represent Jesus for me. Jesus is not physically here in Cana, but I come to you. And he says, I, you are correct. I can bless you. When Jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle, he said, why sittest thou idle? They said, no man employ us. He said, go, and a job came. So, you go to the Holy Spirit and say, Spirit of the living God, this joblessness, you represent Jesus to me. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. When the tribute, remember Jimmy's powerful teaching, when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life, it was Jesus that instructed Peter, go to the fish. And now, you run to the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, my finances. There are bills to pay. I don't know what to do. I come to you. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. Everything, literally, that Jesus was to the disciples, to the then civilization of man, is who the Holy Spirit is to us today. It's who the Holy Spirit is to us today. Jesus sent the disciples 
and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the holy spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but i'm introducing the person of the holy spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek god as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the holy spirit facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face hmm. how could you do ministry without the holy spirit what are you preaching sister how could you dare get married without the holy spirit what do you want to do in that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother White, you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go, two of you, like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe, I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing, but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15, Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you, do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from dark. You are brooding over all my darkness. You are causing light to shine from dark. You see, listen, listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. We live in a society where nobody believes in you. Don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me. They deserve to not believe in you, but you ignore them and walk with the Holy Spirit. Give him time and watch the wonder he will produce. He met a young virgin called Mary and said, Mary, the angel came on his behalf. Just believe and watch what will happen. That you can be pregnant without a man. That it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And the Holy Spirit says, hold my hand. And he said, Lord, I can't even talk like Moses. Don't worry. Hold my hands. And he turns you into a sign and a wonder. And people say, is this not the lady we used to know? Beauty and glory. That you, in a little one room somewhere, 
you are still struggling to raise 7,000 and pay, but you bring the Holy Spirit. I don't have a big house, but I invite you into my room. I tell you, his presence will squeeze you out of that room and take you where it looks like him. That's the Holy Spirit for you. He's the lifter of men. This thing is not magic. It's not just prophecy. I'm telling you this. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life, listen twice. Close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration. I know this about you. He's brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I remember in, two, in 2004, standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade. I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry. I don't think I'm as intelligent as people require for ministry. So I ran to him, cover my shame, cover my shame. I may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire. I didn't have the privilege that society demands, but cover my shame. Lord, I admit that I'm weak. And the Holy Spirit said, hold my hand, let's go. Let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water. And then I said, who is the cause? And all of them were pointing to me and said, you are the reason why we do not have food and water. And I said, Kai, I have to go out and rescue this generation. But I was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me. All of a sudden, I took a bold step. As soon as I opened the door. I saw a giant man waiting and he said, hold my hands, let's go. And that's how we started jumping building after building. I remember one time I, he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling, waiting for me to come. And I said, if the secret is holding your hands, then may my hand remain with you forever. When that was happening, you were not there, but you were in the loins of prophecy. Please, I, I, I don't know how to beg you. Don't ignore what the Holy Spirit can do in your life. This power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying, lay hands on me. God is not a fool. Walk with him and watch him surprise you. Walk with him. I remember those nights when I would just find a corner and just be praying individually. You know, when I see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known appetite to be seen i just nod my head and i say these gentlemen have missed it little power they want to be recognized everywhere they want to be known invite me for meeting call me apostle don't call me brother it's nonsense when his power smells you even to the father's part they said they shall call you you won't call yourself they shall call you ministers of our god there will be an evidence of his hand upon your life i remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman, then phones just came out and they were making calls. Somebody whose spine was fractured. Remember that miracle? The guy's spine was broken into pieces completely. And all of a sudden, it was with that call. It was in the night. I was going to browse and then pray. And all of a sudden, I called that gentleman with a bracelet, confirmed here. And I think then it was um, the other place there. And all of a sudden, with just one single prayer, 
Brothers and sisters, that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother. The only thing I had was Jesus. The next day, the way you gather for funeral, that's how they gathered in that house. The father had the boy was killed. They said, who did this? They said, it's one brother, Joshua, not apostle. All these showmanship people move around today. They don't pray. They don't fast. No mentorship. They don't listen to anybody. They just brag around saying, I saw a vision. I had a dream. I saw a ministry. Sit down and walk with him. Don't ignore him and look for fame. You will die young. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. You are brooding yeah, over my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that. A time will come when God visits you, he visits you completely. There are times he says, forget, just you are walking, leave the issue of finances. Let me walk on you, otherwise the finance thing would kill you. There are people where you start with God, there, is, there should not be mention of power in your dealings with God. You will see God flogging an aspect. You can come to church, we teach about something else. When you are done, the Holy Spirit will say, save that book. We'll talk about it next year. Let's go back to what we are discussing. And you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter. Allow him to walk on you. Jesus. Jesus. When he's done with you and he brings beauty and glory out of your life, you will look at yourself and you will be afraid. You say, Lord, is this what you planned? Look at a poor village girl like me. Look at a poor village boy like me. And he says, that's exactly what I want to do. To show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels. To show that I can take the weak things. Oh God, I'm a poor girl from Kaduna State somewhere. Lord, I'm an illiterate somewhere in the south. He says, don't worry. Hold my hands. Don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising. Walk with me. Do you know we have ignored the Holy Spirit so much? When you talk about him like this, people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism. I'm not against that. And they just look, wow, impressive sermon. He's brooding over all your darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding. Over every cause you are causing, you are causing light. light to shine from God. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today, they have not found it. Till today, they would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, they are still struggling. Some of them are not even in the faith again. Please hear me, Koinonia. Let's settle down with the Holy Spirit. Let Not just because you are a leader, not just because you are a worker, settle down with the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I'm not in a rush with you. Do with me whatever Jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become. The Holy Spirit will turn your life around, turn your wilderness. You will look at yourself one day and say, is this me? Lord, what is this that you have done? When Gentiles begin to come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Do you know, because of the way the Lord began to lift me, and because of the way the Lord began to lift this ministry, I prayed a prayer. I said, Lord, I want to ask for a favor from you. Please, do not show me the full impact that I'm making in the lives of people. Don't show me how far I have risen in the eyes of people. Just show me a token, so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow
because I don't want anything to distract me. Let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in America who listen to my messages every day. And then you now say, wow, 12 millionaires in America. That means I'm becoming a big man. Uh -uh. So God helps you by concealing the extent of your impact. You are changing lives all over, but you never know how far because he wants you to continue. Is God speaking to us? Why have we lived our lives without him? Let me just talk on three things. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Very quickly before we pray. Three ways the Holy Spirit works with believers. Three ways. Number one, the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction. Divine direction. Guidance. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. Let me show you something that I found while I was studying. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. Powerful scripture. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23, 23. It said, but my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into all of these people and I will cut them off. My angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. I'm giving you victory, but that victory will be through divine direction. We will go step by step, guidance by guidance, place by place. Notice how God led people in Scripture. He took them from one place, they would conquer this land, then they would go to this land. Many lives, many lives, and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way. The Bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man, a preacher, a businessman, a father, a mother. It says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. My angel will go before you and guide you. Moses said, do not let, we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us. He says, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Notice, every time his angel, his presence, his angel, his presence. And when he leads them, they return with great and strange testimonies. Many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you. This our world of hurry for everything. I, jo I, I just feel that my job is in UK. You go to UK and live like a thief there. Whereas God has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are, he will lift you. But because he could not direct you, there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to America, by running to wherever, or running to Abuja, running to different places, divine direction. When God directs you, it was never my intention to still be in Zaria at this time. No. As wonderful as it is, if it were on my own, I would prefer to be somewhere, maybe in one of the cities around the world. But divine direction, divine direction. When you read Genesis chapter 26, the Bible says, and Isaac sowed in that land. I'm sure that Isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine, and God said, no, 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 no. For others, they can go. But for you, the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction. We do not respect his leadership. He says, the Lord is my shepherd, so I shall not want. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, so I shall not want. There are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Very powerful. Isaiah chapter 30. And verse 21, Isaiah chapter 30, let's hurry up quickly. Isaiah chapter 30 
and verse 21. Popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer. Isaiah 30. Okay. It says, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, read with me everyone. This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left that God will guide you on your way going. He said, this part looks good, but this is not for you. He said, Lord, but other believers are following it. He said, that's, it's all right. But for you, this is the part. Wait on me. Sometimes he can say, mark time and remain in one place. Lord, but others are going. He says, don't worry. You are still moving. You don't move because your legs are moving. You move because my word is moving you. So even when you think you are standing in one place, he says you are moving. Because when you turn, you see that you have gotten there. You shall hear a voice from behind you. Hear me, people of God. You shall hear a voice from behind you saying, this is the way. Oh, you have a job, but let him lead you. Let him guide you. When God leads you, he defends you where he has led you. The, there are many preachers today in regions that God did not send them. And they are struggling as if they are not anointed. There is a place prepared for you. Only God guides you there. When he sends you to your prepared place, everything follows you. Favor follows you. His mercy follows you. Ease follows you. Difficulty can be a proof, among other factors, that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the Holy Spirit. In this kingdom, we excel through divine direction, not just efforts. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Stop living your life without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You can't live your life and be guided by movies, guided by all kinds of godless books, guided by individual opinions, guided by cultural opinions. It's time to return back and say, Holy Spirit, guide me. If you are not in this, let me get out. Three days before Koinonia will start, this, this, this aspect of the ministry's activities, three days I went back for a retreat to reconfirm from God, Lord, are you still the one or is my ambition? If God ever said I'm not the one, that's it. It's just to apologize. I'm sorry I thought I had God, but he's not the one. Never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize God is not in it. it sometimes it's this our pride that keeps us in trouble. When you find out that, oh, I used to think God was in this, but now I'm realizing from growth that God was not, we still come down and say, how will people really know? Don't put yourself in trouble. Everybody say divine direction. Let me just give you one quick secret on how, you see, you must understand the voice of God. This is generally speaking. You must understand how God speaks. I just need to give you one, one direction. Just one scripture that I found that really blessed me. John chapter 10 verse 35. The voice of God must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation. Remember the Bible says the kingdom of God is in three things. Righteousness, peace, and joy. The moment these three forces coexist, the kingdom of God is within that environment. And here's what the Bible says. It says, if he called them God unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Your experience will not break scripture. It says the word of God came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them. The word that came to you and the word that is written must agree. The word of God came to them by revelation. But the scripture can still not be broken because the word of God came. So the speakings of God will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what God is speaking about, you may not find a direct scripture for it, but the character of how God operates 
must be consistent. Are we together? Most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell. And they say, yes, Lord. From the beginning of the voice to the end of it, it contradicts everything, God. Please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of God. Are we together? Yes. If you look at me now and prophesy to me and say, Apostle, I saw you having an accident tomorrow. I keep quiet and hear you. If you stop there, you didn't hear God. Because the Spirit of God will never stop there. If it is, it may be true that you saw an attack, but then continue it to prove that it is God. I saw an accident, but I am speaking by the power of God's word to stop it. But I saw an accident, and that's it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I saw that your wife is a witch. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Continue. Let me hear. That's it. That's all. Just leave her. No, sir. That's not God. God does not speak like that. If you claim to be a man of God and your wife is a witch, you are foolish. You are not anointed. It means you are not even a man of God. Because your ministry should be demonstrated there and then. The validity of your anointing should be proven there. Let's be careful. We have ignored scripture. And so all kinds of words. You see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of God. The devil uses the faces of people. When God wants to lift you, he will now try to use a face of a man of God or somebody you respect. And come to you and press you. And you get up in ignorance. And say, ah, ah, you do not know that Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. The Bible already gave you that information. I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people. I know that it's an attack from Satan. But I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them. Because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word. Your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. He said, even if an angel brings another gospel, that means Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is blinking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think he's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that, oh God, superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people. That's why we pray. We don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen. The anointing is there to make it happen. Are we learning something? The voice of God must never come, um, must never relegate the written word of God in your life. The second way that the Holy Spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies. Everybody say divine strategies. Say it again, divine strategies. We win in this kingdom through mysteries, but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy. Go and read it when you go home. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to, I think, 21 or thereabout. 
verse 1 to 21. 21 verses. Talks about how Jericho was destroyed. It was not just destroyed because God was powerful. It was destroyed through a divine strategy. Nowhere in the Bible was that strategy used again. Are we together? When you stand before the challenges as a ministry. I remember when this ministry was starting, I went to God and I cried to him. I said, Lord, what? There is a general financial strategy. But what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody? And here it came. It was revealed. Another ministry may try it and it may never work for them. There are ministries if you sell free materials. I mean, if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? You can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you, divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night. Soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together? Let me tell you one of the ways I prayed on this. It was in a, in a big, it wasn't like this. I literally opened it and I was confessing God's word and speaking and laying hands. You will think the oil cannot hear. I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing. This is ordinary oil. But when the anointing comes, the same word I'm speaking to you is the same word. Receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly. It's more than just oil touching your head. You will see what it will do in your life. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go. And they were going and the water had what Jesus said. And it started changing to wine. Jesus. Jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves. They had him and he commanded them to multiply. And told the people go and start serving. When they started everything was multiplying. There were 12 baskets. The third way the Holy Spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter one verse eight but ye, Koinonia, but ye, Joshua Selman, shall receive power, Kabbalakotia. Power is the word dunamis. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And it shall make you witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius in chapter 10. And in verse 38 of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says how God, listen now, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the word born on earth from Nazareth, but still had to be anointed to be efficient. 
Just quoting scripture does not bring you results. The word must be anointed to profit you. How God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about the word. See, listen. The written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed. It is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word. You want to write that down. That the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it. How God anointed Jesus. I understand how God anointed Paul. I understand how God anointed Peter. But God anointed Jesus, the word. Until then, he was the son of the carpenter. But the anointing turned him to the Christ, a sent one. And the Bible says he went about doing good. For us to understand this, we must go to Genesis chapter 1 and see the things God say are good. He calls creation good. He calls plants coming out of a barren ground good. So there are things that are, do you know the Bible says he went about doing good, comma, and then healing all they that were oppressed. So it's good to heal. It's, God, it's good to produce miracles, signs and wonders. But there are other needs in men's lives. Their finances, the assault of wickedness in their lives, the struggles that the devil tries to put them under, the yokes of bondage, the Bible calls it good. You do that with the anointing. Listen, you never bless men just because you are kind. It takes the anointing to do good. Lord, just bless me so that I can help people pay their rent. You see my heart. Your desire is not enough, brothers and sisters. There is an anointing that empowers you. Are we together now? Then you can prosper and do good. Doing good is warfare because Satan will fight it. Lord, I want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then I will rise and glorify you. That glorify you is what Satan had. Every other thing is jargon. He had glorify you and he says fight him. In his final exams, cripple him with sickness. Let something bring him down. It takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men. When members come one week, two weeks, one month, two months, they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change. They will not come again, let me tell you. Don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic. You look at them and say, ah, I didn't see you in church again. Say, Pastor, I'm busy. Say, lie. There's nobody that is busy. People are looking for solutions. If there is no solution, they will give excuse. Then one day they'll say, please don't talk to me again. I'm an adult. I can choose to come to your, your church or not. That means they are telling you I'm tired. I've made up my mind that I will never be a powerless man of God. When you are a powerless man of God, you are not only bad, you are wicked. Because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men. Jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree. He ran and came there and stood. Where is the fruit? And the tree said, sorry. It's a scam. And Jesus cursed it in anger. And said, no fruit will come out of you again. Tonight we need power, brothers and sisters. We live in a wicked world. There are some of you here in your whole family. You are the first that will rise. It takes power to rise. There are families that when you rise, an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit. And there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men. They dare not hear that you want to rise. He's going abroad and you see an uncle just come in and say, I heard that you are going to London. Say, by the grace of God, uncle. Say, congratulations. You shake his hand and they just call you somewhere. You wake up the next day, one leg cannot walk. The other day, your ears cannot hear well. Are we together? By the Friday, your passport is missing. Powers. He said, through the greatness of thy power, every village, including my own, has witches and wizards. They know I'm on earth. It's not that they love to leave me to do ministry. Power. Power. Kabbalah Kotaya. He said, behold, I give you power. Exousia. Power. Step into my shoes. Step into my office. Listen, I'm trusting God that after tonight, you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers. 
There are some of you who cannot go to the village. The last time you went, what happened to you? Even you, you were scared. But now, you go to the village and overnight, in three hours, you hear that things have... You were not praying, oh. You carried something mysterious to that village. Two weeks after your arrival, you see five buildings springing up. A development that the devil has refused. Anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes. After two days, he's sleeping and he dies. Come on now. The devil deceives you. Listen, I have studied Satan carefully because I didn't like the way I was afraid of him. My fear of Satan was getting too bad. And I said, no, I can't be afraid of Satan like this. I need to settle down and study him. One of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say, what is in this thing? Really, what is in it? What is in Satan that threatens people? I've found out the strength of Satan is ignorance. Satan works with information. He plants that seed to you. So a spirit, you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc. That's Satan now. He knows. And watch what he begins to do. He used that experience to plant pictures in your mind. What could be there? Hi, an arm robber is there. No, not an arm robber. The other day, that's how my grandfather said, anytime you hear that sound, barrenness is inevitable. Any, and listen, he's working with your mind. You are, you are having faith in that thing. The moment your faith is there, because whoever believes there shall be a performance. It doesn't matter what you believe. You hear that thing in your zinc and get up. He that cometh from above is above all. Jacos kata prakata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habali somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them. And nothing shall by any means. Whatever I do against God has nothing to do with Satan. This is between me and God. The law is nothing shall by any means. So that you don't just say I was angry. I shouted at my wife today. Hey, hey, hey. Satan is coming. You are joking. My shouting at my wife is God. I owe an apology. As for you, the casting remains so. Regardless of the condition. Nothing shall by any means. Listen to me, I'm preaching to you. Don't let Satan deceive you. No, sir. God is not like that. We have misrepresented him. And it has given access. Access for the devil. Jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple. And went straight for a crusade. And casted out all kinds of devils. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? The anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth I have seen people in my life listen I have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and Ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level I say, ah, Luther continua. Victoria is scattered. That's a cost. Never say that thing. The Bible said the path of the just. It takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in. Someone just sees you and say, ah, uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. What audacity do you have to say you will feed us? There are families where is the women that feed the men. Do you know that? No matter how hard working. You rise up as a man, something must happen to crash you. Shout no way. no way. 
Abba. There are families. The men never reach 50. They must die and leave the children for the innocent women. You see women, old women in a place. Where are the men? Some of you, they've already told you that the moment you are 25, there is a stranger that comes to you. There is a secret nonsense marriage. In fact, there are some of you, you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents. You still have rings and the rest. And now you are born again. And you are now asking, those demons have refused to go. There is something you can engage in. Let me tell you, that will shatter that yoke into pieces. When I discovered who Satan really was, I stopped wasting my time. I said, so this is what has made me afraid. You are not even the worst of all spirits. Come on now. Satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives. He loves it when he's magnified out of proportion. Now, don't get me wrong. Those who claim Satan is cheap and he just give away. I hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals, to ignore Satan just as a result of pride and say, I can just quote a scripture. He will eat you up and spit you out. Don't get me wrong. Satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years. It is through knowledge that the just is delivered, not through bold face for nothing. Are we together? Listen, nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes. You have to believe this. Hmm. Time will never change anything in your life. Time will never change anything in your family. Time will never change anything in your marriage. Time will never change anything in your body. When God wants to help you, he introduces the anointing. The Holy Spirit, the custodian, the conveyor of the anointing. Are we together? In the Bible, when men encounter the anointing, it spelled a change of story in their lives. It was very clear that when the anointing came upon them, it was time. Ordinary people in the Bible, Aaron and his sons, Moses, Joshua, down the line, when the anointing came upon them, they changed in strange and mysterious way. Someone is changing tonight. Someone outside is changing tonight. You, you may be among the crowds, hear me. Some of you are even at the overflow there. You are just standing and watching and saying, God, could you be talking about me? Yes, sir. Yes, ma. He's talking about you. Don't mind what they have said about you. Let the anointing come on you. And you will watch your life, brothers and sisters, change in a way and manner that will surprise you. I have seen what this anointing can do to people. I have seen people change in supernatural ways. This anointing can translate to the power to get well. That in two weeks, two weeks, 14 days, a man's life can change. He will be like, God, what is this? What is this? A gentleman shared with me, one of, one of my boys shared with me um, a, a story, very, very touching uh, testimony. The mother had been following this. And I think it was just yesterday night or so. The mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities Impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head. You can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or, or cook rice. And just say, blah, 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 just and rub on your head. And you just rub something to make your skin moist. It doesn't produce... It, it, oil is not a charm. This jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed. So it's not just because there is a jar of oil. Are we together now? The jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed. Many people idolize oil. Idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power. It takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed. Tonight, brothers and sisters, I agree with God for you that your life will change. 
tonight I agree with God that there will be expansions and explosions. What will this anointing do to you tonight? Or do for you tonight? Number one. This anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor. Write it down. You need to know what the anointing will do. Because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings. But what was spoken into the oil, you have to believe it. God has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days. Favor is real. Favor can happen to anybody. Anybody. Strangers can arise to favor you. Yes, sir. You can have money and not have favor. That you have money does not mean you have favor. Favor is not about money coming. Favor is about men coming and whatever they come with. That includes money. But not left for money alone. If you have money and you don't have men coming to your life, you don't have favor. Favor is known by the strange coming of men. To come and meet your need. Not to come and inconvenience you. The second thing that this, this anointing, this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication. It's called the Mimshak anointing. Please believe it. There is a grace that can come on a man's business, upon his career, upon his ministry, and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice. It gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit. It's true. Can turn a musician's life around. Can turn a businessman's life around. Can turn a preacher's life around. You are there seated and God, do you know, I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on. Or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. There is a grace. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, even God, thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. There is an anointing that can give a man influence. There is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries. You are the last born, but God gives you a voice. Listen, you know, one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good, come. No, there is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence. I have seen how men of God have ignored this grace. And they have tried to bully men of God. They have tried to bully others. 
They have tried to usurp on young people. You are my son. You are my daughter by force. You are my this. Just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb. It's not about all those things. It's not about being mean. You see me greet people here. After service, I'm hugging the children. Because this influence and honor is an anointing. It's not by doing bold face and acting. Look, I, I don't play child's play. All that one is, 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 is complex. When that honor is on you, people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you. The anointing brings loyalty in a strange way. That's why God must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people. Listen, people don't just become loyal to a man just because. No, no, no. It's not about giving people money. You can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow. Loyalty is not just by faking. It's not even by wearing good clothes. You can wear anything you want to wear. There is an anointing. Politicians know this. That's why they go to Habalis and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal. There are great leaders who oppress people. Pastors who oppress church workers. They are looking for loyalty. You are praying for somebody. You hear somebody say, ah, Ejimi is praying for me. No, I'm the only one. You am the boss in this place. That's insecurity. This grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder. I have seen what people has, have done to this young man talking to you. I've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshipping me. Influence. Influence. It's not by manipulation. There is an anointing that brings for influence. And it's with all humility I say it. You don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster, one single handbill. Not for anything. Yet there are people there sitting on the fence. Look at the people that have come. Sitting on the fence. Five overflows thereabout. Seated everywhere. Over 47 nations of the world. Brothers and sisters, it takes an anointing. It's not just grammar. I'm not the smartest preacher. I'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation. I pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you. Hallelujah. I travel all the time with the head of department of media. And um, there's it's always a team of, uh, from worship team, media, and then the protocol. And he asked me a question. I think it was early this year. He said, why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for lucky jar or snapping with this person and i say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you, ba, it's on you, period. If it's not on you, it's not there. It's as simple as that. It's not about all this manipulation. And so you go and borrow a Jeep and sit down and say, great is thy faithfulness. It's not your car. You are looking for respect. No. Or you go and steal the picture of a crowd. I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. Please don't get me wrong. And say, well, there is a revival, revival, revival. And you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches. Whereas, it's, why fake what can be real in your life? There is a grace for influence. Lucifer carried it. The anointed cherub that covereth. He can cover a territory with his ideologies. I have seen people on this earth with that anointing. I have seen business people with that anointing. I have seen families with that anointing. Heal song. That's the anointing working there. You see those young boys just strumming their guitar. Yet you don't know what takes them all over the world. There are people carrying that grace. Joyce Mayer. You listen to her and you are sleeping. Yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village. You go to your village and see somebody reading the book. And you are wondering and say, my cassette, my, my what they call it, my, my CD. I waxed an album. I'm just a few kilometers to my village. It refused to enter there. There is an anointing. Mimshak. The strange grace. That's what happens to the messages. 
That's what happens to what God is doing in this ministry. Do you believe that this can come upon you? Yes, sir. Can come upon you. Number what now? The fourth anointing that I believe and I trust God, I trust God with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and not just signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders that through your own hands, the things that God will do to you will begin to surprise you. We just started the, the public relations department this year and I remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone. Now, these gentlemen love God and they are filled with the Holy Spirit. But probably they did not, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray. There is an anointing that can come on a rod, a rod, ordinary rod, and it will part the Red Sea. There is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says, Sister, I hear you attend Koinonia. I cannot meet apostle, but I hear you attend Koinonia. And you say, what is it? He may be busy, but let me pray. He has prayed for us. That grace is working. Say, you? Say, let's just pray. And you say, Father, I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman. I hear that supernaturally, they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow. I agree with you. And by 1 a.m., the woman gets an alert, 500,000 dot. She will run to you and say, woman of God, what did you even say? She won't call you sister again. It takes a woman of God to produce that miracle. That you can go back home and say, I came back from an impartation in Koinonia. And your father said, what, does, what good does that do to us? Go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there. Number one, they have said your mother is dying. Number two, they have said your other sister, nothing is wrong. Number three, they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles. And you say, can you just give me a few hours? You carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of Jesus. They are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it. And you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. I agree with you. And all of a sudden, by the next day, that man is sleeping and an angel of the Lord appears. Why are you doing this to my daughter? Behave yourself. It is because of this your heaven is not closing. And she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down. He said, let's, let's make this work. Let's make this marriage work. Are we together? Some of you will take this anointing back to your churches. And God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. The last thing that I'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you. If you don't believe it, you can write the other four and leave this one. It's unto you according to your faith. I have told you, I am very vocal. I love the Lord by the grace of God and with all humility. My passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension, finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life. That your prayer's time will be spent worshiping God, not saying, oh God, this rent, oh God, tea, oh God, there is no sugar. And you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries. Oh, 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 oh.
I truly trust the Lord that this mantle for wealth, this grace for wealth, if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper, I've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth. There is transactional wealth. Wealth that comes by selling your value. Whether your education, whether uh, an idea, whatever it is that you take. There is transformational wealth. Wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people. But the third dimension is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. By the finger of God. All of them are important. But brothers and sisters, for some of us, the emergencies in our lives require God showing up like the man of war that he is. We are going to sing this song one more time. And I want you to open your spirit truly. Because as this impartation happens, as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days, we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray. Please, I want you to be tired of where you are in life. Be tired of where your family is. Hey, hey. how it works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus Tonight, I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh lift your voice and pray shakata pata kata dabata pata reto wakata kata shakata kata shakata kata shakata kata kata shakata kata kata Take me higher. 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 Take me hig
Hallelujah. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Tonight is that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And the yoke, the yoke of delay. The yoke of retrogression, the yoke of begging as a generation, that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder. Check. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every cause, every, cause. every yoke, every, yoke. every spell. Every enchantment, every enchantment over my life, over my, life. Over my, family. Over my family, I declare, I declare that, by the that by the anointing, it is broken forever. Is broken. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't it. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the finished work of Christ, I declare to principalities, to powers, to familiar spirits that tonight I have been called out of every tribe. Every covenant, every covenant, every enchantment, every enchantment the, sins the sins of my fathers will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment, please pray, pray. Hallelujah. We are praying. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every fail. Every fail that has covered my glory. That has covered my glory. Every fail. Every fail that has hijacked my honor. That has hijacked my In the honor. name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I tear that fail to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Covered your glory. It says, arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Hallelujah. 
Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By the anointing. Rise to destiny. Rise. Lift your voice and begin to. Every aspect of my life, rise to your place in destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen, the Bible says, listen carefully. It says Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access, every access that left my life, that left my life by the anointing, by the anointing, I call you back. I call you. Lift back. your voice and begin to pray. Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Favor. Favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please, the specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went, but there are things that the Bible says immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we are talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You are sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. 
There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. Open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is, this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Hallelujah. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three. Everything from the, the last place of the fence of CGC, right there is overflow four. And then those standing at the back of overflow three, just at the back of overflow three, that's overflow five. Are we together now? So this is the main auditorium, so you understand what I'm saying. Overflow one, all the people here. Overflow two, right from wherever till the end of CGC fence. Overflow three is the main, um, the, 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 the space outside there. Overflow four is everything from the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other streets there. That's, that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you. Even if you have a child, even if the child is sleeping, just touch the child. You don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it. It's not about idolatry. Just a touch. You can take one if you like, put on your head. And Did you bring all those documents? We are going to pray. Just, just leave them. Don't worry. Leave them there. We are going to deal with them. Please be patient with me and let God surprise you tonight. Are we together now? Except it is not God that has instituted what we are doing. Some of you, you will not even be able to share the testimonies. You will watch, it will be, people will ask you, which charm did you hold? What happened to you? There are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight. You will, you will stand like this and say, so this is how God works. This thing is not trial and error. God is a God of systems. Are we together now? So I want you to agree with me as we pray. Please, no distraction. Forget about this is not husband and wife now. This is you standing between you and God. This is not neighbor. We came brothers and sisters. Leave anyone you came with. This is your destiny with God. Now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now. It's at this time where he told Elijah, if you can see. He was looking, but he said, if you can see. There are some of you, as this oil comes upon you, all of a sudden your eyes will be opened. And you will see strange supernatural things. So be sensitive. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Um, what will happen is there are five. Five. So we can do three, three. That means three bowls here. We'll fill it with the oil. We'll keep adding. And then three outside. Please protocol work so that we can arrange it. Please, I know that there are lots of people... The protocol people are smart enough. They have been trained. Everybody will receive of the oil, especially for overflow four and five. Please, our securities, please help us so that we don't have any chaos. Everybody, just be patient. The oil will get to you. Don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone. Be patient. Be patient. If you have a bottle of oil after service, I can pray for you on it. But for now, just cooperate. Please, let's not make the place rowdy. And let there be no fighting. Just cooperate. 
with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit we are not acting you are real Lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of Jesus Lord I pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as I'm praying is reaching you there Lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we're coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest speak it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 unto yeshua shekinah's here we cry holy 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 unto yeshua shekinah is we cry holy
Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka parakoto sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God. Defying all the laws of men. Defying the expectations of men. Rising by the spirit. Rising by the anointing. Rising by the spirit. sotobosh. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. We are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Sent. Sent by his anointing. Keep praying. Don't be tired. You're doing something to your spirit, man. The hand of God is upon you. Things are shifting in the spirit. Doors are opening. Ladders have been created. Bridging your expectation and your results. Outside pray. Those online. Use the oil you have upon your head. And that of your family members. And begin to pray in the spirit. Call for the things that be not. 
Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together? God has not called you. I know for many of us, this thing looks like is some form of, for many of us, this looks like it is some form of nonsense. Others will watch and laugh. And you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world, it's not too late. If there is nothing, write your challenge and lift it before God. And say, Lord, this thing is not giving me joy. Your certificate, whatever it is. There's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it. Please make sure you participate. All the overflows. I want to pray. I want you to believe. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, please just believe this once. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he be established. He said, believe in his prophets. This thing you see is not a vocation. It's not something a man chose for himself. I want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit. I want to put an anointing upon those items. I don't care what it is. Some of you are lifting your jam slip for your jam tomorrow. Some of you are lifting your certificate. You've been a graduate for 10 years, 20 years, no job. Some no promotion. Some is a threat letter by anything, a court or whatever it is. I want to pray for you. I just need you to believe, to agree with me. Some of you is your business ideas. Some is your crashing business. Some whatever it is. 
Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the one who gave this anointing, I decree, I speak over every document and every point of contact represented. In the name of Jesus, I command speed upon that document. In the name of Jesus Christ. For every document lifted that is a threat, a challenge to a family, to an individual, to your reputation, in the name of Jesus, I veto that situation now. I veto that situation now. Every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate. You are all graduates in your family, but there's nothing to show for. From tonight, Shekos Kata, Matatos Kata, Pakataria Kata, in the name of Jesus, I give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit. I give it a voice in the realm of the spirit. I command it to bring jobs to you. I command it to bring opportunities to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family. In the name of Jesus, may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament. Out of every predicament. For some of you, what you are lifting is a medical report. It's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer, that you have HIV, that you are barren, your tubes are blocked, that you are impotent as a man. In the name of Jesus, I change that medical report now. I change that medical report now. There are some of you, what you are lifting is your project. Not just your school project. Job project, whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon. In the name of Jesus, I command all those who will supervise you to favor you. There are some of you, what you are lifting is your house rent. What you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere. I decree and declare by the finger of God, I call forth helpers to your life now. I call forth helpers to your life now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your marriage certificate. That your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces. Because of what the devil wants to do. In the name of Jesus, I mend that home right now. I mend that home right now. For some of you, what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body. They say you don't have this, you don't have that. This is absent in your body. Whatever should be in your body and is not. In the name of Jesus, I call for a replacement now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your ATM card, your checkbook, or your phone as a sign. In the name of Jesus, I declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the Lord God of heaven. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. I pray for every ministry represented here. Whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels, that souls will not be saved through your ministry. 
that lives will not be changed. In the name of Jesus, I release an anointing upon you now. I release an anointing upon you now. Go and do exploits in the name of Jesus. Anyone in business here, I prophesy to you. I don't care what your business has looked like. Between now and the next two months, may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you. I say it again. Between now, 60 days from today, in the name of Jesus, enter a strange dimension of results. Hallelujah. I'm praying for people here who are trusting God to give them properties. If you have the faith for this prayer, watch my God surprise you. I decree and declare that between now and half of the year, you may not even have up to 1,000 naira in your account now. But in the name of Jesus, I put properties in your hands. I put properties in your hands. Let them mock you and see what God can do. I put properties in your hands. I pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know I don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in hundred level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of Jesus by the ministry of angels I command a strange change of result a strange change of result a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now I'm feeling it on my own head. A strange anointing. Receive a grace for supernatural intelligence. Everywhere, main auditorium overflow. One, two, three. I empower your mind. Ten times better. Ten times better. I pray for our dear ones. I hear there's jam from tomorrow. Am I right? From tomorrow till when? From today. Oh, they wrote jam today. Let's agree. I'm sure you know what God does with jam in this ministry. I know you have read, but you need a prophetic backing. Let's make this thing work once and for all. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In a way you have never seen, may the Holy Ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam. May the Holy Ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam. I'm praying for you. Any mortal man on earth who beats his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise, I stand here and I answer his prayer. Anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them Listen, just follow me. Few minutes and we're done. If there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine, I don't care where. And all kinds of incantations. Some of us come from very wicked families. In the name of Jesus, not only will your name come out of there, both the herbalists, 
and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them I know you don't like what I'm saying. Don't mind me. Just let me finish praying. I say again that every territory, whether a village, whether a town, where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men, that you do your best but you never move forward, I command a sword of vengeance tonight. I command a sword of vengeance tonight. Whoever has ignored you and trivialized the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names, let there be a strange unction on you tonight. An unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here. Listen, this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break. I believe in family. I believe in honor. One of the things the devil is doing is working at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife. They get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives. I'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names. Every family in Koinonia here that is shaking. The devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. If there is anyone called Barin, you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child. Not tomorrow, tonight, your baby begins to manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for influence. We are rounding up. I believe in influence. Don't reject it. Don't fight it. Don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you. Influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances. I decree and declare, wherever you find your place, I command you to rise above your equals. Rise above your contemporaries. As a lecturer, rise above your equals. As a banker, rise above your equals. As a student, rise above your equals. They will seek counsel from you. They will look for the word of the Lord from your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for our finances. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We walk through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. Listen. Listen. We are not naive about what value. There are astute business people in this ministry. There are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry. We are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done. People bless me every day because they perceive that I've been a blessing to them. But there is the finger of God where for no known reason if if I've been nice to you, you can say, ah, apostle, you changed my life. Take time, Naira. There is a reason why you blessed. You see that? I didn't sell anything to you. I just took out time to change your life, and you blessed me. If you employ me and I work for you, I gave my time and my value. So in return, you give me a salary. Is that true? But when the finger of God comes, please hear me. There will be no reason 
no reason except for the fact that Jacob I love, Esau I hated. You can be sitting down and God will raise somebody to rise up. Listen, not only bless you once, but say, I want to make this an addiction, a habit to bless you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have seen the money that came through your skill. Congratulations. Where is the one that came through the finger of God? You should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because I got a good job. Thank God for that. This one came because I blessed a life. I paid a graduate a student school fees. Now he's working and he has come back to say thank you. This one came because I have a child. The child has become responsible and he has come back to say, Mama, na go day. But show me the one that came from the finger of God. That you know this one. Lord, I can't explain how this one came. I don't even know the name of the sender. I just saw one name or two names. The finger of God. You see, the problem we're rounding up with the body of Christ, we fight what we don't understand. And what we understand, we trivialize it. Why is God doing this thing? It's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money. No, God is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him. Are we together now? You can see that CGC is doing a lot of work. By the way, um, I, I didn't even plan with them. Every single one should be part of this project. CGC, you can see this, this, this is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us. And honestly, I didn't even plan this with any of them. I've not even seen the pastor. As I just said this now, everybody should be a part of this. I know what the ministry, Koinonia, will do. I know what as a person I will do. I'm encouraging you. You can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service. And you can discuss with them, how do I get my seed? 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, a million, whatever amount. And say, look, I want my seed to be here. By the grace of God, they are not looking for money to do this. God has been faithful. And they have been, you can see the items that they are. It's just, I'm sure because of this program, they decided to suspend what they are doing. I'm just using an opportunity to tell you, whoever you are, make sure that you find a way of participating in this. But let me tell you this. There is the finger of God. And I want to pray this. Because some of our families, nobody even went to school. So there is no issue of saying, Lord, give them a job. You see mama of 70 years. Which financial intelligence are you going to tell her? That our rewards in life, all that thing you are talking, she's just looking at you. What are you saying? My son, I am dying here. A landlord, a young boy of 25, wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years. By 9 o'clock tomorrow, mama, get out of my house. And she says, please help me. That one, you don't need a financial seminar. You need the finger of God. This is where most of our families are. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. I have seen this in my life. The finger of God was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life. The finger of God was designed to come through for you. Quarter to shame. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beginning from this night and all through this weekend. By men you do not know and by those you already know. Even if they have helped you before. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I prophesy to you right now. Listen, I want you to believe me in the name of Jesus. A stranger you do not know. You don't even know how he got your account number. I compel them by the spirit to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the course of this prayer and fasting, a strange woman just called. She sent me a text and said, you don't know me, but I'm a businesswoman. Am I talking with apostle? I said, yes. I thought she wanted me to pray for her. And he said, the Lord spoke to me that there is a seed that I should sow half of it to you, half of it to the ministry. I said, madam, no, I don't do this. I want to make sure people work with revelation. Why do you want to do this? Have you discussed this with your husband? And she said, sir, with all due respect, 
I'm a businesswoman. I'm not a little child talking. I have children that are adults. So if I'm making a decision, I know what I'm doing. I said, I'm so sorry, man. Okay, I prayed for her and sent her the text. When I saw the alert of what this woman sent, I sat down and I said, God, what is this? What is this? Madam, do you listen to Koinonia? No. Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever, Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever prayed for you? No. Did I bless you in any meeting? No. Say the finger of God. See, most of us are used to suffering and hardship. We don't ever believe strangers can bless us. If I say, may God make your boss or your uncle, you say it makes sense. Because there's one money that I'm waiting for. Do you know me as a person? I have seen the account number of people in dreams. And God asked me to bless them. They were just sitting and they saw alerts. They don't even have my number to call me. It's just pure obedience. The same thing God has done for people towards me. Not everybody is disobedient. God has not yet directed them to you. That's why they've not responded. I pray again. Father, I cry to you. This grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of God, I declare, let it come upon everyone now. Every department, from prayer department to worship team, ushers, welfare department every worker in this house every member in this house those following from every nation strange favor in the name of jesus now please drop your documents just keep your hands let me pray for your spiritual life now this is the final thing please take notes i want to pray because of what will happen i want to pray we cannot finish this whole seven days without something happen to your happening to your spiritual life. Something must happen to your prayer life. Something must happen to your access to light. Something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders. Something must happen to your church. Something must happen about the gift of the spirit. Some of you have not seen it in your life. I want to pray for you. Please just guide the people. Whether or not um, you are an usher, please. Because of what happens when I pray this kind of prayer, please. Whoever is under the anointing close to you, just help. Just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Lift your hands. I want to pray. One minute and we're done. I long to see you that I might impart my God. Look at I'm seeing flames. This is what I'm seeing. All over. Right to the back. Flames. Lord Jesus, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, the anointing, the grace for prayer and supplication. There has to be someone it is looking for. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Take it now. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Inside, outside, overflow. One, two, three, four, five. Online, I release that grace. Enter a new dimension of prayer. A new dimension of fasting. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Lift your hands. Mm. I pray for you. You see, the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the Lord. God must give you the eyes of an eagle. The eyes that can see beyond just the letters. I pray for you. Fire will come upon your eyes. I command, may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation. Insights to scriptures. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The gift of the spirit was given to the body of Christ. The gift of the spirit, we no longer respect it and so we are not established. I want to pray for you whether it is the revelatory gift whether it is the utterance gift whether it is the power gift i tell you i feel fire in my hands i stretch my hands lord where are they everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the spirit in the name of jesus at the count of three like rain from heaven let it fall upon you one two 
three, take that anointing. I command the gift activated now. The gift of prophecy, step into that dimension. The eyes that can see, I open you up to visions. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the fivefold ministry and the grace is not yet sure, you are not clear. Tonight I pray, may an unction come upon you that you will know you are called. May an unction come upon you. Sister, may an unction come upon you. Brother, may an unction come upon you. I call for the Catherine Kuhlmans. I call for the Emmy Semple McPhersons. I call you by the Spirit. I call for the John G. Lakes. I call for the William Samos. God's generals of our generation. Hear the clarion call in the Spirit. I call you forth in the name of Jesus. Everyone in your family that has not given his life to Christ, hear me, if there is any unbeliever, it could be your father, it could be your mother, I declare, may the angel of the Lord bring strange conviction to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, whether they are Christians or not, I pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to Christ. Every loved one who is far from here but connected to you, whether they are outside this country or they are within this country, the same power you are receiving tonight I declare may that same power come upon them. The same result that your life will command tonight, may that same result be given to them. Look at me. For many people think you will not amount to anything. But the Spirit of God says, I set you apart and you will become a great one. Even as the stone that has been rejected, I will make you a great one. Are you listening to me? I see a crown being put upon your head right now as I'm holding you. Father, that you fulfill your word right now. Come, 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 come. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. See, leave fear. Fear will not bring much to your life. It will only put you in misery. And forget about the things that people are saying. God is separating you to use you. Are you listening to me? There's one of your friends I see. He has a mark. The Lord is saying, leave him. Leave him. Love is a command. Relationship is not. Leave him. Are you listening to me? And get serious with God. God bless you. Look at me. Do you have an elder sister? Where is she? She's married? No, no, no. I mean, there's... Um, do you have anyone staying in Abuja? Abuja. I see one of your people who is staying in Abuja. Um, the Lord says... Hear what I say, except the Lord builds a house, the laborers labor in vain. The laborers labor in vain. And that you tell them to commit their all unto God. There's no giving God part and holding part. Are you listening to me? God bless you. Rampia, please come. Run. For I see the Lord bringing real blessings to your family real blessings to your family um, the Lord is bringing a refreshing please put a little water in that cup and just give me I want to do exactly what I'm seeing in the spirit the Lord says just a little he says he's bringing refreshing to your family and the Lord says this is there's no ritual around it before you package water tomorrow and start making madness out of it this is simple prophetic instruction go ahead and drink it finish it just do what i'm asking you to do the lord says he's bringing a refreshing in exactly two minutes that water you have taken will become fire in your spirit and in your bones in exactly two minutes from now 
just hold on there it will become fire god will give you ideas by the spirit for was it not water that elijah poured upon the sacrifice that the fire came and licked it up there is nothing that is done that cannot be proven from scripture hallelujah in exactly two minutes said the lord it will become strong fire i see a formation of it already and i'm telling you the truth it will set you apart it will bring favor even to your younger sister that's what i'm seeing your younger sister your younger sister having this great fire thank you jesus christ mercy mercy a lady with the name mercy who are you mercy come you're also mercy Deborah, Deborah Maida, if she's here, the Lord says it's time for you to step up. Where is she? She's not around. Deborah Maida, it's time for you to enjoy the blessings. I'm seeing you holding a big bag and you are going to the farm to pick a lot of fruits. That's what God is showing me. A very big bag. Humanly speaking, it's not something you can carry. But you need to pick the fruits. They are falling from the tree. I believe God is signifying a season that is time to enter into a lot of things. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. The Lord just said I should stretch my hands towards you. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. says it's called the oil of gladness the oil of gladness being poured upon you have i not said god is no man's debtor the lord says he will repay you i see oil being poured upon your head that's what i'm seeing right now oil being poured upon your head your name is mercy your name is mercy look at me rise out of timidity for great is your strength said the spirit of god rise out of timidity great is your strength i sense an anointing to change genotypes that's what i'm sensing right now please get set i sense an anointing to change don't take it for granted i sense an anointing to change genotypes i'm about to speak and prophesy the word of the lord right now in the name of jesus out of her a demonic spirit of fear you will not hide in her soul come out of her right now I set you free in the name of Jesus be free by the power of the Holy Ghost mercy listen find a community of believers you can be in and out find a real community of believers they will help your growth the Lord I don't know what it is but the Lord says I should tell you I will show you mercy I will show you mercy hold my hands I will show you mercy please hold it with both of your hands if you can I will show you mercy that's what the Spirit of God says receive the mercy of the Lord the mercy of the Lord coming like fragrance I see like perfume upon you the Lord says it's my mercy the fragrance of the Lord upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ your name is mercy your name is mercy you will be a mother to many look at me look at me the Lord says I should tell you you will be a mother to many you will do things you never imagined that you could do you will do things you never imagined that you could do Mercy.
The Lord says, I should tell you, you will speak over kings. You will speak over kingdoms. You will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hand. That's what the Lord says. A scepter is given. You will speak over kings. You will speak over kingdoms. You will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Madam, please. I saw something coming like a balloon and then coming towards you and then I saw a sword while I was ministering I saw something like a sword and he just pierced it and it it went down and in my mind I was wondering I was I didn't really didn't understand and I kept quiet and then the Lord says I should tell you that the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity the Lord says I should tell you that he's going to wipe away your tears. That's all I hear. The Lord says I should tell you that you have cried many cries, but that in this season he's going to wipe away your tears. Does this make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, according to the power of your word, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you wipe away her tears. You have my grain. Or somebody around your family I see somebody I'm seeing um, yes signs of my, you upon your head you'll be healed right now 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 not later right now in the name of Jesus I pray by the power of the Spirit of God be set free be set free <laughs> be set free in the name of Jesus Christ healed from my grain now I command every genotype SS hear me inside and outside if you are SS if you are SS right now I change your genotype to AA in the name of Jesus I change it to AA in the name of Jesus receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost Receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every SS, every AS, change now in the name of Jesus. Everyone with heart condition, if you have a problem with your heart, come out quickly. Inside and outside, either a hole in your heart or something pertaining your heart. Please run out quickly. Let's hurry up so we can conserve time. A heart condition, a confirmed heart condition. Please come out. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Listen, I'm going to pray that the Lord will give you a brand new heart. I'm not praying for healing. You're not going to be healed. A creative miracle. Just believe it whether you understand what I'm saying or not. Are you listening to me? As my hands come upon you, I'm going to be releasing the power of God. The power of God. Now, a brand new heart. 
upon you a brand new heart in the name of Jesus a brand new heart a brand new heart now by the power of the Holy Ghost a brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. I command it a brand new heart now a brand new heart a brand new heart a brand new heart by the power of the Holy Ghost a brand new heart 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, a brand new heart in the name of Jesus Christ. A brand new heart. Where's Mariam? Mariam Adese. Where's she? Mariam. For the Lord says that He will wipe your tears and cause you to laugh. Because of the testimony of your commitment in his house. Hey, that's what the Lord says I should tell you. For I will wipe your tears and I will cause laughter. That laughter will gush out like springs of living water. My God, let this grace come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are, your name is Miriam. Why are you here? For a heart condition. Okay, lay your hands. You not only have a heart condition, I see that there's something wrong. I don't know whether it's your back or something. That's what I'm seeing. Am I right? Okay, I'll pray for you now. Look at me. Just hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command every bent bone around your back to be straightened. Let it grow back to complete shape now the power of God is coming upon your back I command in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every malfunctioning of your body be gone now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please can that lady I hope someone can help me identify her a lady standing almost directly under that fan. She's holding her hands like this. A lady with dark, you looking at me, come. Yes, you. The Lord is healing all kinds of things. No, this, the one at the back, come. But you who is going back, come. going to be a great leader and the Lord is going to commit great wealth into your hands that's what God is saying I should tell you he's going to commit great wealth into your hands but that it be used for his kingdom that it be used for his glory loves you and he wants to use you for his glory you must give him full expression he must find full expression you love him so much but I hear cares 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 you're laden by many cares and the Lord really wants you to give him or hold my hands if you will Lord I pray ah the strong manifestation of the spirit you will never be the same from tonight fire on you now Shut. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there is a strange oil of God's favor 
Jesus. That is bringing upon your life from tonight is a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. A strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. A strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. The lady sitting come very quickly before. Please, as you're standing in this atmosphere, I'd like you to know that God is meeting your needs. Are you listening to me? God is meeting your needs. This lady, that lady with you, come. Yes. Look at me. Hold my hands. You may not even know how much you have been oppressed by Satan, but I command victory for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command victory. Great victory. Great victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will make you a very influential person for his kingdom. He will give you a word upon your mouth. You may not look like it right now. But the Lord says he's going to do this. He will give you access to kings. And he will grant you grace. One of the things that you will have in your life is courage and boldness. Courage as bold as a lion. The Lord is going to give you great boldness. Hold my hands if you will. Lord, I pray that this great grace and courage will come upon her even by the power of the Holy Spirit that she will do unusual and supernatural things even for the kingdom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Unusual, supernatural things for the kingdom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Aaron, the Lord is stepping you into a strange level of blessings. A strange level of blessings. You have serve the kingdom and you have served many the lord says i will now cause men to serve you i will cause men to serve you hold my hands lord i pray that this grace and this oil this great anointing will come upon him that he will serve many in the name of the lord jesus onu come the exact same word god is saying to aaron that's what he's saying to you that because you have served many he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will cause many to serve you. Please be alert as we minister. If you have not written your prayer request, please write them very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. I like your heart just to be tuned to the Lord as we minister. There's such an unusual prophetic anointing in this place that God wants to reach out to people. Please, the lady that Apostle just ministered to with the yellow shirt, come and the next person by you, come. The other lady with the green shirt, come. The both of you. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God says, you're going to carry my message of love to many people. I see an experience that you had last year, towards the last quarter of last year, that brought hurt and condemnation to you. It's an experience that I cannot talk about, but you know it, right? You know what I'm talking about. God says he healed that wound today. Jesus says he loves you. And he brings healing to that wound. And you carry his message of love to many people. God bless you. I hear God says, I'm stepping into your family. I'm bringing a message. And I'm bringing restoration. That's the word I hear God says. God says he's bringing a restoration and a healing to a relationship between your mom and one of your elder sisters. Look at me. Omar. Am I talking? God says he's healing a challenge that your sister and your mom has been experiencing in their relationship. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, there have been some bridges that have been, they have experienced in their relationship. And God says because there has not been oneness and unity, it has hindered your family. God says he's healing that wound tonight and your sister will be restored back to your mom and God says it will be a new season of restoration even financially for your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Abigail please come is Sanet here please come so that we can just save time please come as I'm calling as the Lord is showing me as I'm calling you just come just come just come Abigail the Lord gave me Abigail aren't you Abigail please come the Lord shows me I see a scene that had happened before that the Lord shows me and in this scene I saw your father standing 
somewhere in a particular land and I could see cassava growing in that land. I don't know, but it looked to me like somewhere in the southwest part of this country. Is that where you came from? From where? Okay. And, and I saw that there was a dispute, a challenge about this land. And I saw that certain course, certain enchantment were released. Please keep playing. Were released over your father and your family to bring hurt. To bring hurt and to cause misfortune for your family and even death. That's what I hear the Lord says. Where is your father right now? Nothing is working out. Nothing is working out. Nothing is working out. That cause from that land, God says he will heal it. God says he break that yoke of the enemy. But are you aware of a challenge, a dispute that has to do with the land? It was something that their father left for all of them. Yes, and he left it for them. But there was a cause that he spoke over his life. And that's what is responsible with, you know, with the misfortune that your family is experiencing that now that nothing is working for that. I declare that there shall be no death. I reverse that cause of the wicked one. And I declare that the prosperity of God comes to your family. God says he brings healing to your body and perfection. Perfection. Perfection, 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 <laughs> perfection to your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord touching your body. I see a challenge that has been that always caused constant health challenge for you. Something connected to your blood that affects your bone and brings weakness to you around your joint and your bone region. Am I talking? God says He's going to step into there and bring total healing. Receive it now. Receive the healing power of God. The anointing is already on you. Receive it. Be free. Your blood and your bone and all your joints is healed this night in the name of Jesus Christ. What's your name? Abigail. Just stand. The Lord is not giving me a word for you yet. Grace, the Lord says, I should tell you that he's going to intervene in your academics. I see God says he's going to raise someone in your department that will fight your cause. And God says you will celebrate and sing songs of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch out. He's a man and that man is not a believer. That's what I hear the Lord says. Sandra, God shows me that a ticket is coming. Not for you, but for your elder sister. She's going to travel out of the country. God says that demonic barrier is lifted tonight. Do you understand? And God says the challenge that has kept her that she has not gone before now is lifted tonight. God says there's going to be a speedy victory that shall come. And your family shall celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. Shadi, I love you so much. Please just be on your feet. God speaks to me to, for you and your husband. I see a certain challenge and demonic attack that the enemy intends to bring to you, particularly in this season of birth. Are you getting what I'm saying? And the Lord is showing me that this challenge is something that your mom experienced around the season of your birth. You may need to go and ask your mom in case you don't know. Such a demonic attack that came to her during the time of your birth. And you even experienced it in the early years of your life. Am I talking to you? God says that attack shall not rest upon you. The plans of the enemy is to snuff and take away your child. But God says it shall not hold. And we shall love when your son comes in the name of Jesus. And God says for me to tell you, God says this is a season of financial breakthrough. Watch it within now and the next three months. You see unusual favor and doors that God will begin to open. People that have never given to you before, watch out and see what the Lord will do. And my dear brother Jakes, God says there's nothing that is impossible. God says he will answer the prayer of your mom. God says shortly he will cause her to rejoice. And I even hear the Lord says, as I answer this prayer, there shall be celebration and I shall cause the bell of wedding to ring in your family. I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about your sister. For you it is sure, but I'm talking about your sister. Father, thank you. 
Olorum Bumi or Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. If I'm talking to you, please just come. Olorum Bumi or Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. Are you here? Just come quickly, quickly. Okay, please come. I, 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 I looked at you, and I, and the Lord shows me your father's text. And God shows me that there's a project, like a research work that he's embarking upon. And God says, this work is going to bring honor to him. God says, this work is going to cause him to stand before many great people. And God says, I'm doing a work and I'm bringing health to his body. Health to his body. You know the challenge that your father has been going through. I've never met your father. I've never been to your house. But God says he's bringing perfection to his health. And this project that I see him working on on his table will bring honor to him. God will use this work to set him before many great men. Go and tell him health, healing, perfection comes to his body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, trust me and I will lead you. God says for you to trust him and he will lead you. God says, don't trust in your understanding. He said, you have trust in your understanding before now. But this is the time that I want you to begin to trust me. God says, if you will trust me to come up that, out of that relationship, I'll bring rest and peace to you. And God says, I forgive your sister. Tell her that guilt shall no longer hold her hand bound. Tell her that the snare is broken. And tell her that she shall celebrate her wedding soon. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. So take the news to her. It's, it's Sanet here. Is anybody by the name Naomi? Naomi. Let me talk about the Naomi so that if you are the one, you come out. This Naomi that the Lord shows me. I see your elder brother who has been running from pillar to post seeking for job. And God simply asked me to tell you that he's releasing that job. And as he releases that job, he's going to bring blessing to the family. He's going to be of great help and blessing to the family. If I'm talking about you, just lift up your hands. Where is he now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you, if you have any challenge, I see God healing people with challenge around their legs. I'm seeing bone condition. Or any part of your body you have challenge, maybe from an accident, bone condition. I see God healing that quickly. Please just come. So we'll pray for you. Bone condition. I see God healing that. I see God healing bone condition. Lord, I pray for her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Is there anyone in your family who has been crying to the Lord for a child? Yes. Who is the person? My sister-in-law. Your elder sister? Sister-in-law. Because I see the Lord says there shall be Amen. the birth of a child. Amen. I see God says he's bringing a child. Amen. For that yoke is broken. Amen. That yoke is broken. Amen. And we declare that a child is born. Amen. We declare that within now the next one year, the Lord gives you a testimony. Amen. In the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. The people with the bone condition. I want you to just touch that part. Just touch that part where you're having a bone condition. Just touch there. We may not have the time to take all your testimonies, but just touch the bone condition. Please, minister, I just want us to lay hands on them just quickly. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare your need healed, healed, healed. Command that bone condition be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you healed, healed. Let that bone be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Let that bone condition be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Let the bone condition be healed right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, right now, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. In the name of Jesus, if we have laid hands on you, please just go back to your seat and check yourself. Because of time restraint, we may not need to take all the testimonies for all of you. But we declare you healed. You came in with any bone condition. Touch the place. Come on, healing, healing right now in the name of Jesus. 
be healed be healed in the name of jesus christ you're healed check it let me take your testimony check it that's every time the bone condition is actually once in a while it's not every time i have problems with my nails sometimes but do you experience it now no i don't your healing is permanent in the name of jesus permanent in the name of jesus christ you have arthritis i see the lord heal somebody with arthritis where the gentleman who is going back to his seat with a bone condition come come perfect in the name of jesus perfect in the name of jesus you are totally healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ so do what you couldn't do before let's take your testimony do what you couldn't do before hallelujah do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before Thank you, yeah. your healing is perfected in the name of jesus Amen. your healing is perfected in the name of jesus christ you have arthritis come i say the lord heal somebody with arthritis i see the symptoms somewhere around your hand and your leg where you where is that person come quickly arthritis come and be healed thank you father thank you father thank you father mommy you're the one with arthritis are you feeling the pain now here with the chest so if you are healed now you will know yes in the name of jesus i curse you spirit of arthritis i release healing 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 in the name of jesus i curse the symptoms go go in the name of jesus you are healed okay check yourself quickly do what you couldn't do before you are healed in the name of jesus i like you to watch something this guy's leg can you see that one leg is shorter than the other if we can have the camera here so the, that this will not be stage managed nobody will lie and say just come can you see it from the side i need you to see it can you see it everybody just look are you seeing it yeah you see that one is shorter now watch this in the name of the lord jesus i command you to grow watch it from your screen watch it grow wow watch it grow. in the name of the lord jesus <laughs> you're feeling a pulling on your leg look at it growing perfect look at this Whoa! that pain needs to go your the problem is usually from the spine and so it causes the leg to be a few inches lower than the normal one now try what you couldn't do before if you can shake your legs as hard do you feel any pain there you feel any pain no i you don't i don't feel complete any. perfection thank you jesus thank you jesus are you coming out for what arthritis on the knee lord we release healing arthritis you are cursed in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check it and do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do before. You couldn't do this before. Do it again. Do it again. Do you still feel the pain? You are totally healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go back you okay you're the one with the hand in the name of jesus christ i release healing into this hand now 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 i cause you arthritis go in the name of jesus be healed let this hand be healed amen. in jesus name amen do what you couldn't do before check it do what you couldn't do with it before Hallelujah. come 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 do it do it Okay, tell us. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? No, no. You are totally healed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Go back. I just need you to speak the word. 
dad has been going through this condition for the Lord, she stands for her dad. Let the dad receive the anointing right now. We cause arthritis. We release healing now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I stand for Basiokun. Lord, we release healing to Basiokun wherever he is right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sanet is not here. The Lord shows me something. Sanet is not here. Thank you, Jesus. You came out. Lord, we cause arthritis from our mom's body and even her grandmother will release healing right now. We cause arthritis. Go! In the name of Jesus, you're here. All right. While this is going on, please ushers begin to collect the prayer requests. Lord, we cause Bring out your prayer requests inside right now, and outside. Right now in the please, name let's do of that Jesus quickly. Christ. Is Gideon here? Gideon, you are either in Agric Engineering or Agric Science, where I'm hearing the name Gideon in Agric. If you are here, come. For what? Lord, bless her. Bless her. Bless her. Bless her. In the name of Jesus, bless her. And Lord, concerning marriage, answer the prayers of her heart right now. Answer the prayers of her heart in the name of Jesus. Okay, just quickly. Not to testify. It's a prayer for my youth. Prayer for my youth. Okay. I cause this pain. Go in the name of Jesus. I release healing. Now be healed. In the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do quickly. I'm healed. Say I'm very healed. I'm You're healed. In Jesus' name. Get on, please. Kneel down. Let's pray for you quickly. God says there's a ministry that he's birthing inside of you. God says that you shall have an assignment of bringing deliverance unto the captives. God says deliverance shall come to them that are bound even through your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask, let there be a release. Let there be an activation of that ministry inside of him. And let that anointing begin to overflow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Please, if you need papers, ushers have papers. Thank you, Jesus. Anetu, God has a word for you. I see God doing some things around your mom that pertains to healing in her body. Do you understand? God is bringing healing to her body. I don't know where she is at the moment, but that's what I see. Perfection. Perfection to her body. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is now quiet here, please. If you are here, just come quickly. Or is your mom here? Is your mom here? Is mommy here? Please, so we can walk with time. Thank you, Jesus. Let me give them to minister so we can conserve our time. Hallelujah. Um, Ruben, okay, I saw God giving you um, another dimension of word of knowledge. I see that function in your life. God just showed me that. Hallelujah. Quickly pray for some sick cases now. God showed me. Quickly come out, please, as I mentioned you. I saw um, we praying for cancer patients, okay? If you have people that had cancer or have cancer, please just quickly come out. You're understanding for them. I saw that. You can just line up here. Praise God. Then if you're having um, pains at your back, back ache here, please come. We'll quickly pray with you. Then, people with pains in their right ear. I think there's somebody here with pain in the right ear. Then I saw another person. Your neck is actually your neck. You actually, I think you had a problem carrying a load or something. That's where you got an injury. Just your neck. The three major vertebrae here. Please just quickly come up. Please, sir. Just help me. Please just help me. Hallelujah. Jumi Tosin. God will do some amazing things to you guys in your worship life. I saw, I saw you guys with Ruben. Just the three of you. Okay? God will be doing new things for you in the place of worship. Hallelujah. I'll just quickly pray with these people. 
just quickly come as they pray with you please just go back to your seat hallelujah and as Hallelujah. I wait to I wait to come. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me, the Lord showed me. A vision concerning your father. Stand here. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me a vision concerning your father. And I see a major promotion is going to come to your father. And I see the Lord bringing honor into the life of your father. And the Lord said he's going to put your... Sorry, I'm seeing something. Don't mind me. He's going to do something very tremendous to your father. He's going to give grant and honor. Put your hands. Father, thank you, Lord. Father, I pray the Lord God. Let it be released for her father in the name of Jesus. My brother there, I see an unusual healing anointing upon you. Come. I see the Lord reason an unusual healing anointing. I actually saw you leaning down, praying. Praying on your, on your bed. Telling the Lord that. I actually saw the Lord, I saw a vision as I was talking just now. I saw you kneeling down praying on your bed and asking the Lord that you want him to use, want him to use you greatly. And I see him releasing an unusual healing anointing upon you. Father, I pray that let the anointing intensify in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing upon him, let your anointing, let your anointing, Lord God, be so real and tangible. I'm so interested about a lady, a young person that came trusting the Lord for, a, for fruit of the womb in my right my left hand side trusting the Lord outside then they will flow for a fair I saw if you are, you are here come I just saw a vision somebody on my left and I see the Lord giving you two boys <laughs> hope you heard me I see the Lord giving you two boys I, I see an unusual anointing of God. I saw you making a prayer to God that if the Lord gives you children, you're going to give them back to the Lord. You, ma you made that prayer. Yes, sir. The Lord said he's going to release an anointing upon them and he's going Amen. to use them greatly. Amen. Put your hands in my right hand. Father, thank you, Jesus. I pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Um, uh, there is somebody that came in here. I saw a young guy in between the age of 13, in between the age of 13, 16, having a terrible demonic attack with a bone. I see a, a young guy, a young guy in between the age of, in between the age of 13, I see a demonic oppression upon you. If you know your head, come out here. If you know your head, your brother, in between the age of 12, 15, 16. Come. I see. I see a, a, a chain. It was a chain I saw. I mean, you find it difficult to sleep. Yeah, sometimes you struggle to sleep, and you find a lot of. Put your. Let me. Father, I've come against every demonic attack of, over his life in the name of Jesus. I come against every demonic attack. I speak freedom upon his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, that, that is uh, a lady outside that has a, a problem with a stomach problem with the lower abdominal mina. Something, it pains around here. If you know you are, you are the one, just come and let me pray for you. It's very chronic pain at your lower abdominal mina here. If you know you are here, come out. Somebody with a very chronic pain outside in the overflow. Somebody in the overflow. In the overflow. Anyone there? Yeah. Come in. Come. Come in. I saw her. That's the very lady I saw. 
I saw a lady with a very chronic pain. Is it like a fibroid or I don't know? Just come and hold my hand. I will just declare a word to you. Excuse me. Man of God, lay your hands. Lay your hands on them. Father, I command every family spirit to come out in the name And also, I saw a young lady that came into the meeting with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours. Amen. I saw a young lady sitting in the overflow with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours that came in. They just came in together. The Lord is asking me to warn you to stop engaging, I mean, involving yourself in what you've been. I see a young guy, a young guy, a young lady sitting in the overflow. The Lord is instructing me to really warn you want you to stop what you have been involved and that is giving you chance to change and to repent from doing what you've been doing amen hallelujah hey jimmy hey jimmy I see God. Please, let's just quickly. There was a song that was playing. That was, oh, you, you sang it before Yahweh. Please just sing that song. When this meeting started, I saw God give me a burden for people in the overflow. People in the overflow, please listen. I see God. There are some ladies here. You were, incantations or initiations were done for you by other ladies. People in the overflow, listen. That's the song. Just be playing. Rapon da balada boko soto balada asha. I see a lady, you are very small in stature. You are wearing a wine dress. You were initiated. All the ladies that have been initiated in this place by another lady into the occultic, just come out. The power of God is going to bring you out or you come out. God wants to set you free. For some of you, it's your secondary school days. Please come. If anybody ever initiated you into anything, please come. In the overflow, Father, reponde balada boko soto balada banda. I command that power of darkness to be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you were ever taken to a, an occultist or something, please come out. Father, honor your word in this place. For some of you, because of what happened, at night you have sexual intercourse, usually with strange ladies. I'm seeing such people, such people. In topele de bokosa, in palada bokosa tabaya, ipere de 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 bosha. Hallelujah. For some of you, it was your parents that took you there. Don't be ashamed. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is setting you free. Please come out. Come out. Come out. Then I heard the name. I was hearing the name Graham Douglas. There is a lady in this place. Your father is extremely wealthy. Extremely wealthy. He travels a lot. He travels a lot. I don't know if you are from the South South. I think there is Anne in your name or something. And I see God wanting to touch your father through you. I think your father is either military or something. He's either top military, but he travels a lot. If you are that person, please come out. Please come out. I see another lady. You have phobia for cockroaches. If you are in the same room with a cockroach, you must fall ill once you see it. I don't mean the usual fear. You break out in sweats. If you are that person, please come out. God wants to heal you right here and right now. Right here and right now. You fall sick, very ill. Please come out. I see a PC. Something is wrong with your mother. You can sing. Something is wrong with your mother. She's dead reading. Please come out. Right
requests please ushers very very quickly now we're entering a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment in this meeting let's have the prayer requests very quickly a very prophetic moment opportunity God has given us an instruction inside and outside please send your requests hallelujah can can you turn it Aaron? is it possible please turn the requests we're going to be praying on this request whatever it is that you laid as a request I'd like you to know that the end of it hear me the end of it comes Whatever it is. Please, everybody rise up on your feet, inside and outside. I'd like to invite all the servants of God. Please, the ministers of the gospel, can we come as we pray on this request? Hallelujah. Now, listen. As we pray on this request, Miracles, listen to me, please. Instant miracles, instant miracles will begin to flow both to you and to your loved ones. Are you listening to me? As we please come up, let's let's come quickly. As we lay our hands in faith, instant miracles. Please call that lady. That lady is not done. God is not done with her yet. There are all kinds of demonic manifestations. She's been initiated into all kinds of things you want to pray for her. As we pray, everyone join us and pray by faith all over this building, inside and outside. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we release miracles. Instant healings, instant deliverances, instant miracles, instant breakthroughs. <laughs> Shake it, 
Whatever has held you back, there are many of you, you are moving, but you are not making progress for yourself, for your family. Tonight, enough is enough. I prophesy that spirit that came upon Elijah, that made him to run, 
receive it in the name of Jesus. Speed in ministry, speed in business, speed in your finances. I want to prophesy to your academics. I want to prophesy. I don't care. I don't want to know what your CGPA is. I don't want to know how many carryovers you have. That's none of my business. I don't want to know who likes you or who does not like you. This night, right now, I command, begin to soar. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Five points, I prophesy. Distinction, receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Some of you read, you are not lazy. You do your best. You have tried to explain to people. They can't understand. Every time you want to read, you find out that there's something holding you back. Tonight, as surely as my father lives, every mental blockage, everything called dull, let it die tonight in the name of Jesus. Receive a super intelligent mind. I prophesy a super intelligent mind. Conquer all your difficult causes. Conquer it. Conquer it. Go back as a victor. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your finances. The error of begging and living from hand to mouth. Begging, begging for everything. Many of you have left the Lord because of financial challenges. In the name that is above every name. Don't tell me about your father's job. It has nothing to do with your job. Don't tell me you are not working. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The power to prosper. Take it. Inside and outside. Take it. The power to prosper. Prosperity in business. Prosperity in ministry. Receive it in the name of Jesus. There are many of us, hear me, who have suffered with habits, habits, all kinds of ungodly habits. You have done the best. You have cried. You have fasted. You have prayed. Lift up your hands. Right now, every habit that does not represent the life of the kingdom, I command it out of you. Now, out of you. Now. Out of you, now, out of you, now, out of you, right now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of fear, timidity, and discouragement, this is what has stopped many people, although you are praying in tongues, fear, timidity, Discouragement tonight, right now, I take authority over it. Let it live your life forever in the name of Jesus. I command multiply in the name of Jesus, be fruitful in the name of Jesus, subdue in the name of Jesus. Every one of you here tonight is stepping into a new level of the anointing of the spirit receive it a new level of the anointing the operation 
the miracle working power. Receive it. From tonight, your words become powerful. Everyone you bless is blessed in the name of Jesus. I speak over you. Every spirit of death, every spirit of failure, whether by accident, whether by the sword, right now, let it be lifted from your life forever in the name of Jesus. No more death. No more death. Hallelujah. I command every dying dream, every dying vision, every dying idea, books to write, songs to write, organizations. God has been speaking. I command every dry bone, hear the word of the Lord. Arise! 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 Let your dreams come alive. Let your visions come alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone in your family who is looking for a job or marriage or a building project, that's what God is saying, these three things. Job, marriage, a building project. Right now, by the power of the Spirit, I command that you receive it for your loved ones. Supernatural marriages, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Jobs for your loved ones, receive it. Jobs without interview, jobs without interview, receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that has made you cry, I don't care what it is. Everything that you came here with that has brought tears from your eyes, as surely as the Lord lives, you walk out of this ground a free man, a free woman. No more tears. I prophesy, no more tears. By the word of God, I create for you a future with laughter, 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 laughter. Fresh passion for the word of God. Fresh passion for the word of God. Receive it. Fresh passion for the word of God. Let the spirit of prayer fall. Grace to pray like a general. Grace to pray. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of intercession. Lastly, I prophesy. The Lord tells me, release the anointing for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are not necessarily miracles. And Lord, according to your word, signs, wonders, at the count of three, this one will fall heavy. This one will fall heavy. One, two, three. Receive it. Signs. Wonders. Signs. Wonders. Become a sign. Become a wonder. Become a sign. Become a wonder. Become a sign. Accomplish more than your capacity. Accomplish 
more than your capacity. Hallelujah. All of you who are lecturers, if there's any lecturer in this place, because you came tonight, I command, that's what the Lord is telling me to declare, that the believer lecturers that came tonight, I command a grace that will distinguish you for honor. You can receive it for your parents. Receive it in the name of Jesus. No more weakness. No more frustration. No more begging. You are the head and not the tail. You are above. You are not beneath. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Hallelujah. So that when you leave this place tonight, you will know that you did not waste your time. Many of you will go back and step into a fearful order of operation in this life. See, the Bible says there are some beings that are celestial. There are others that are terrestrial. Every man is not the same. There is a plane that others walk in. They walk like spirits. They talk like spirits. They are not bounded to the limitations of this realm. Many of you will go back and suddenly receive calls that things are shaking, changing, changing in your family. Uncles that have forgotten you will call you and send millions to your account. I'm not motivating you. I am prophesying to you. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now listen to me. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is for you to come back to the kingdom. There are many of us who have not made a personal commitment to love God and to begin to live by his principles. You're not born again. Every time you hear the things of God, there are many of us that frown at it. Now this is very important. Everybody listen. The spirit of God is in this place. You've never made a decision for Jesus Christ. Or you have made a decision just carelessly and you've left the things of God. There is love in this place. And there is a big welcome. I'm not asking you to think about it. I'm not asking you to pray. Inside and outside right now. Leave your seat and run. And come and give your heart to the Lord. Do that quickly. You want to make a decision. You're saying enough is enough. Please leave your seat inside and outside the lord is calling you right now leave your seat and come the holy spirit is speaking to you you need to make your ways right i don't care if you're a pastor you're a bishop appreciate them as they come inside and outside the holy ghost is calling you it's a new beginning keep clapping motivate them appreciate them inside and outside the bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart now it's a new beginning those of you outside the lord is calling you do not reject his call you have seen his power you have seen his grace appreciate them we will wait for you appreciate them satan you will not hold anyone bound appreciate them they are still coming the lord is still speaking those outside don't let your friend hold you back it's a new season keep clapping as they come keep clapping as they come don't be tired hallelujah 
If you are still inside or outside, while I'm speaking, you can still come. Hallelujah. Now look at me. For those of you standing, I'd like you to know that we love you. You're making the greatest decision that you have ever made in this life. Are you listening to me? The greatest decision to make Jesus Lord of your life, not just to become a Christian, but to become a citizen of the kingdom. This is the secret of victory. This is the secret to a life of glory. No matter what you have done, men may condemn you, but let me tell you there is love for you here. I don't care what you have done, nobody condemns you. Are you listening to me? Now all of you standing in front, lift your hands as you pray this prayer after me. Say after me, dear Lord Jesus. It's not a special number. Say it out of revelation. Dear Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for my sins. And this night, I make a decision to love you to live for you and to serve you i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare according to the word of god that i am born again holy spirit come and find a home in me teach me the laws of the kingdom and make me relevant in the kingdom from today i denounce sin and satan i declare that I'm genuinely born again. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones. They have expressed their desire and their love for you and for your kingdom. For as many who will come, Lord, you will in no wise cast away. I pray that that preserving grace will rest upon them. That grace that preserves men and keep them. Everything that you have, that has held you bound, you are walking out of it as you go back in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are free your sins are forgiven you in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. look at me this is the greatest decision that you have made never forget this day are you listening to me now I like you to just follow the ushers they are going to have details of your information and will follow you up adequately dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline